Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you my new dehydrator that I got. If you watched my video, Dehydrating Onions, not too long ago, you'll see that one of my dehydrators smoked on me and I decided to get rid of it because it was pretty old. Uh, it was one that Jeff's mom had had, so uh, we just decided to get rid of it and I got me a newer one that lets me actually set temperature levels. Um where my other one doesn't it just is on like one temp either with the fan going high or low uh so this will give me more flexibility with doing some of the dehydration that i like to do and i'm excited to try it and i'm going to take you along today i'm going to do some celery uh just with everything that's going on in the world today you don't know what we're going to have available to us or the cost that things are going to be in the near future and i really like to have celery available to do soups and different things like that and add it into my stir fries so i'm just gonna put two heads or stalks of celery the big stalks um cut them up slice them and we're gonna put them on the dehydrator and i'll take you along as i do this okay guys this is the new unit i bought it's vivo home or vivo i'm not exactly sure how you pronounce it it has an on and off switch this toggles you through this does your settings this increases or decreases and this is your screen um it has a little instruction pamphlet with it and it also has a little recipe book that has some pretty neat um items dehydrated inside of our pamphlet it gives us a little table that does fruit and vegetables and it says the food to be dried the recommended preparation Recommended drying time, the result of what you should have, recommended quality, quantity per rack, so how much weight we should have on our each rack, what weight we should have when it's dried. So if you start off with something, we should end up, like say for this apple, you should be at 10 to 15% of that weight once it's dried. And the recommended temperature in Fahrenheit. Since we turn over to the next page, we're gonna do celery. So we're gonna peel and cut into eight millimeter slices or dice. I think they spelt that wrong. Seven to eight hours, you want it to be bendy. You can put 250 grams per rack. It should be at 15% of what you put on. And we're gonna do that to a temperature of 158 degrees Fahrenheit. This is the base. The fan and heating um, element is under this part. This is the lid, um, and it's stainless steel and plastic, and black. They had, it also comes in red, but I decided to go with the black. These are the separate trays, and I also got um, some mesh to cut to fit these, so if I'm doing something that's gonna be smaller when it dries, because sometimes when you're dehydrating, and you dry things or even some things when you put them on initially they're small and they want to fall through your cracks in the drying racks so if you do the mesh uh, liners it there's smaller holes in it but it will still let your dehydrator function the way it should be without letting your product fall through to the base down here where you don't really want that to be okay guys so i'm gonna get started i'm gonna cut it up i'll bring you back when i get ready to put this on the trays, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's nine trays. And uh, we'll see how much we get and how it turns out. Okay, guys, it took me a second to figure out how to get the trays to stack because I knew they were too close. They had them in a storage stack when I brought it down and was showing it to you a while ago. So you have to flip them and turn them to get them where these line up instead of being side by side in the storage stack. So I've just got each layer with um, the sliced celery and then I took the leaves, cause I'm gonna keep them, you can use them to um, season with too. Um, and I may just powder them down for just some uh, celery powder. But we're gonna put the lid on and then I'm gonna see if we can get this turned on. Okay, we're going to turn it on. We're going to hit set. So we need to be at seven to eight hours. So 
we're gonna do it for eight. And then we're gonna do our temperature up to 158. Set it. And then we're gonna turn it on. And that's it guys, we're gonna leave it and I'll bring you back when um, they're finished. Now during this process, per the directions and how I normally do, I will probably rotate my tray some. Now these leaves will probably stay on the very top, but usually most of your heat's here, so I'll just kind of reverse stack them. So the ones that are at the top will be at the bottom and um, they'll dry better and more evenly that way. So I'll see you back when they're done. This is what's left after I dehydrated those two big heads of celery. This is the celery stalks and this is the celery leaves. I've just kind of crumbled them up. So I'm gonna finish letting them cool. I'll put a lid on them, vacuum seal them, and I'll have those dehydrated and ready to use in suits and stuff. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video.